Michael C. Ruppert, Confronting Collapse, The Crisis of Energy and Money in a Post-Peak Oil World, a 25-point program for action. In Confronting Collapse, The Crisis of Energy and Money in a Post-Peak Oil World, Michael C. Ruppert assesses the future of capitalism and its implications for society. The book examines capitalism's significant shortcomings, including poverty, income inequality, adverse social costs, debt, job loss due to automation, environmental issues, political maneuverings, and short-term thinking. It suggests that better state policies and the collaboration between corporations and governments may help remedy some of these problems. Furthermore, the book evaluates the role of technology in exacerbating unemployment, and the potential solutions in the form of new economic models and collaboration between corporations, governments, and nonprofit organizations. The Limitations of Capitalism Capitalism offers economic freedom but is plagued by serious flaws, including poverty, inequality, environmental degradation and short-sighted practices. While it is often seen as an ideal system, better government policies could address these shortcomings by encouraging more ethical corporate growth. Poverty and Capitalism Poverty has been a social issue since the Industrial Revolution and the rise of capitalism. Despite government efforts, one-sixth of the world's population lives in poverty. Income inequality continues to grow, while wages remain stagnant. The solution to poverty requires a multifaceted approach that involves corporations and government working together. Efforts such as raising the minimum wage, capping CEO earnings, and reforming taxes may help level the playing field. The consequences of capitalism have dangerous implications for society and governments. It is time to take a realistic view of economic growth and development and embrace conscious capitalism or the new economy to address this growing issue. Workers' Plight Today The legacy of the Industrial Revolution still haunts global workers with 21 million trapped in bondage and slavery-like conditions. Unions, which secured substantial benefits for labor, are in decline creating an adversarial relationship between employees and management. Growing income and wealth inequality reduce consumer demand, prolonging economic malaise. With a federal minimum hourly pay of $7.25, new ideas to fill the gap between earning and basic needs include a guaranteed minimum income, refundable tax credits, workers' stock ownership, and universal savings plans for retirement. With over 200 million individuals unemployed, Technology is disrupting industries and killing more jobs, leaving undereducated workers out of the service sector growing jobs. To acquire new job skills, the long-term unemployed may need retraining. Corporations may find supporting unemployment too costly. A fair wage enables a person to maintain dignity and move to a better job, highlighting the importance of job creation. The business cycle. Businesses thrive in a stable economy but capitalism brings turbulence. The four phases of a business cycle are contraction, trough, expansion, and peak. During these phases, factors such as an overheated economy, high debt, and low confidence can influence the cycle. With advances in technology and globalization, businesses have become more interdependent and need to anticipate environmental issues and changing markets. However, experts disagree on how to recover from economic downturns with some supporting austerity and others stimulus spending. Some argue the U.S. has shifted to pro-business cronyism. The Myths of American Capitalism American capitalism glorifies individualism and self-reliance, portrayed in popular works like Ayn Rand's novels and movies like Wall Street. However, this idealistic view has led to corrupt practices and a warning from economist Friedrich Hayek. Communitarianism, a third perspective, promotes shared values and rights, and corporate social responsibility, as practiced by Avon, General Motors and Starbucks. It is popular in Europe, China, and Japan, and avoids the dangers of fascism associated with hyperindividualism. As the corruption of campaign finance threatens democracy, Communitarianism provides a solution to create an enlightened and moral society. The Rise and Fall of Capitalism 
the post-World War II era marked a period of economic growth driven by capitalism. However, the 1980s saw market changes and the deregulation of finance led to an increase in income inequality. Companies directed profits towards higher CEO salaries and excessive lending while moving towards obscure financial instruments. By 2008, wages stagnated, and the economy was driven by financial services and consumerism leading to recessions, bank failures, industry bankruptcies, bailouts, and unemployment. The need for responsible consumption is evident as capitalism attempts to double its business while reducing environmental impact and footprints. The Intersection of Politics and Business The influence of politics on capitalism and democracy can be detrimental in several ways. The book discusses the abuse of lobbying and revolving door lobbying, which can subvert decision-making in favor of self-interest. The high cost of election campaigns further exacerbates the potential for corruption. Bribery and corruption are pervasive, with the super-rich exerting significant influence. The U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act aims to punish unethical behavior, but it is often undermined. While following the money laundering trail can reveal illegal actions, excessive regulation and taxation can also interfere with business operations. The book emphasizes the need for long-term solutions to prevent short-term problems. Capitalism and Long-Term Planning Many public companies prioritize short-term gains to maintain their stock prices and funding access, but this can create market instability. Some successful companies, such as Amazon, prioritize long-term investments in customer relations. The U.S. infrastructure needs significant investment and long-term strategizing to nurture economic growth and job creation. Some firms are forming public-private partnerships to achieve these goals. The author believes that capitalism can bring material and spiritual well-being to people and hopes to improve it. The Dark Side of American Capitalism American capitalism offers consumers a broad range of products, but not all of them are beneficial. The pursuit of profit often leads to the production of unsafe and unhealthy goods. Government bans don't always work, but advertising can help, though it is often criticized for manipulating needs. Marketing encourages instant gratification and indebtedness, reinforcing the idea that owning more leads to happiness. However, increased consumer information and empowerment help balance conditions for individuals. The Cost of Unlimited GDP Growth Capitalism's growth-driven model has consequences, as natural resources get depleted when GDP expands perpetually. Various groups advocate for different solutions, such as the Slow Growth Group, who think that the economy will stagnate naturally and favor population stability. The Sane Consumption Group proposes stricter, even authoritarian, governmental control of consumption, and the Steady State Economy Group recommends mild fluctuations in population production, and consumption. Finally, groups call for a general slowdown of the economy or even degrowth to reorient consumer habits. Beyond materialism. Capitalism and the focus on GDP growth emphasize competition and materialistic goals. However, happiness is not quantifiable, and beyond a certain income level, more money leads to greater anxieties. The idea of simpler living or gross national happiness may not guarantee a satisfying life. Healthy capitalism should provide security, eliminate poverty, benefit all from natural resources, and encourage a wholesome level of consumption. Through an in-depth analysis of capitalism, Michael C. Roberts' Confronting Collapse spotlights the pressing challenges faced by societies worldwide. The chief takeaways from the book revolve around the negative consequences of capitalism, the impact of technology on the future job market, and the importance of collaboration between the public and private sectors to mitigate these issues. Ruppert effectively emphasizes the need for corporations, governments, and nonprofits to adopt new economic approaches, enabling a more sustainable and inclusive development path, fostering greater equality and eliminating poverty. The solutions presented within the book stress the significance of addressing urgent global challenges through multifaceted responses and commonly shared values, 